Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Guessing JoJo. Uh, we're going to be covering uh, my favorite part of JoJo. Uh, part 4, Diamond is Unbreakable. Or uh, Diamond is Not Crash. Or Duane, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I'm here again with Nem, because who else would I be here with? Hi. So we're going we're gonna to jump right in. You have never seen JoJo still. Let's just jump in. And, and I can't wait for the comments to tell to be upset with you that you didn't watch JoJo yet. So do you remember any of these characters' names? Well, that's Kira, and that's Koichi in the middle. Is that Josuke in the left? Yeah, okay. you got them all right. As I found out, people get upset with me when I pronounce it Josuke because the U is less pronounced, so it's Josuke. Although Zach told me in the dub they pronounce it Koichi, and then that's Yoshikage Kira. Do you remember any of their stands? I only included the one, but... Killer Queen. Is Hierophant Green Jolene's? Or is that a different one? No, no that was, that was Green free. Man. Is his Hierophant Green? No, it's Green Man's. That's Green Man's. I know. Active I know it. It's like around here somewhere in my mind. Yeah, maybe it's echoing it's... around in there. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't remember those games. Let's go. Here he is. The boy. Uh, I've seen memes of this guy. I have a meme of him saved in my phone. He is a chaotic dumbass. He's he's stupid, loves punching things almost as much as he loves his friends. That's like Bartolomeo. So with the sides of his face, like those scars, they're on hinges. And he can just like... <laughs> <laughs> he also has two belts. Yeah. One's for ho holding up his, his pants and the other is holding up uh, his his uh, dick. <laughs> What's his name? It's, it's You Better Thank Me. <laughs> That's his name. This is Okiyasu Nijimura. Uh, he is the stupidest good boy. We love him. Uh, his Silver Man, the, the the tires on his shoulders are like blow up. They're the kinds that you just, has like the little nozzle his that you floaties. just. floaties. Yeah. And but what so, does that do? It, it, it just wears him for fashion. Then what does he, what does the stand do? He, <laughs> That's just a fashion Every statement. morning, he reminds you that you are loved and that <laughs> you've, you can do this. Every single morning, he gives you moral support. And that's it. There's actually a stand like that in part seven. Really? Yeah. <laughs> that, that, all it does is give moral support. Oh, I want a stand like that. Uh, this is the hand. Uh, basically, he swipes with his hand and it erases things. The hand. Or zahando. I should point out, there's spoilers. I have, I've seen art of this guy before. He licked a spider before. In the middle, like the yellow silhouette of his stand. He's he's um one of those pancake artists. <laughs> <laughs> he makes it out of like pancake batter. <laughs> it takes a while to summon the stand. Yeah. He has to make a whole pancake. And his his head is a waffle, and that's why it looks like that. So this is a uh, breakfast man. He delivers his, breakfast. His stand is waffles with a Z X D. Oh God. <laughs> okay, so this is Rohan Kishibe. His stand. And what makes it one of the most overpowered stands in JoJo mm -hmm. is the fact he can turn anyone's face into a book and learn everything about them. And he's able to write in information and make it fact. That's really OP. They could have nerfed him by making him a dumbass. No, he's I incredibly intelligent. <laughs> okay, well... Because he's the, he's, he's the self-insert of the author. And this is Heaven's Door. Am I looking at the flower or the cat? Both. <laughs> Don't know why, but I get, like, vaginal vibes from that. Nice. Um, That's a I don't fucking know. plant you're looking at. I am gonna say that these flowers are this cat stand. This cat can create flowers that, you know, because a cat doesn't really think about much other than food, all these flowers do is feed it. And that's it. Greg. Good Greg. <laughs> there he is. Greg Creepypasta Eyes. Well, I'm gonna name them Pussy Petals 1, 2, and 3. Uh, so this is Tama. Tama. Stan's name is Stray Cat. <laughs> All right, a child. What is that? Is that the cat flower right there? Yeah. Why is it horny? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not an expert on on cat flowers with tentacles, horniness, <laughs> and how to gauge that. This looks like if Kara from Undertale was in JoJo. Look they... at his little Shrek vest. <laughs> is this the the Hayato kid that he was like? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. You got it. <laughs> you got it from a meme. <laughs> Good. That's what you got out of this? Yeah, I, I mean, I also like her. She's a cutie pie as well. I see I see pink. You sure do. I am... <laughs> She's one of the, the plot drivers for the Kira arc. Okay. Oh, does Kira kill her? Bad times. 
That's okay. I still, <laughs> That's okay. Well, I can still see her right here. Because she's not real. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am going to say her name is Strawberry Dead Cake. Because <laughs> she's dead. <laughs> Strawberry Dead Cake? What? <laughs> All right, this is Remy Sugimoto. Remy, okay. And she is a ghost. So we still we do still get to see her in the show. Yeah, she's okay. still in the show, like frequently, but she's a ghost. I like her. she's a cutie pie. Have I seen this guy before? It's a stink no, boy. He he looks like the big fat guy who eats yeah. his finger, but like smaller. <laughs> Both of them are are just like put off as normal human beings. By the way, they're never in any way described as different. <laughs> yeah, really not a fan of that head. Like it's not even hair; his, it's very clearly his, flesh. His tan is just bees. <laughs> no, not the bees. He's so gross. <laughs> His name is Thick Boy. <laughs> Shigechi Yangu. Okay. And his stand is called Harvest. <laughs> don't trust him. He doesn't have all his teeth. How old is he? Like eight? I think he's... I, I don't think they ever said... Because like Koichi is the same age as Josuke. Koichi he's a little like man. He's, he's a little man. This guy's got big lot. He's big lock a, energy. He's got, he's got big goblin energy. Big goblin energy. Big gnome energy. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's really hot. He looks like Lotor. Um, he also looks like um, Legolas. It's the, um, the slick back hair you're referencing. Well, and the elf ears. And and the, and the long elf white hair. And the, I just tried to replace the, the letters with uh, the first letter of elf with the first letter of ears. <laughs> <laughs> I like his eyes. Yeah. I I like this guy. Is he a villain? No. Oh. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You know I'm a villain fucker. You know what? That's your first piece of merch right there. <laughs> you know I'm a villain fucker. But he's an alien. We don't know if he's an alien. He says he's an alien. What are you going to call him? What are you going to call him? Noodle hair man. Noodle man. Because his hair looks noodle like noodles. Man. And I want his noodles. Oh my god. <laughs> this is Mikitaka Hazakura. Uh, yeah, his ability uh, is involved in on the right. He can melt himself and just form it into whatever. Close. I mean, he can transform into anything as long as it's not more powerful than him and not too complicated. It's called Melty Boy. <laughs> uh, his ability, I keep calling it an ability because it's never confirmed if he's a stand user or not. Okay. It's part of his It's either he's an alien or a stand user and it's never confirmed which. <laughs> Uh, his stand name is Earth, Wind, and Fire. Also, if he hears a loud noise, he breaks out in hives. He says he's allergic to it. What a what a mood. <laughs> I like him. I know. Oh, I like her too. You know, in the far right picture, I just really want her to beat me up. Does she have a stand? Yes. Is it the little flower right there? Well, you'll have to guess. Well, I'm going to say that her stand is in the form of that little flower, then it peels off like a sticker and then materializes. So she just has a big flower. Because of the little rose on her arm, I'm naming her uh, Roselia. Uh, that's her stand. Her stand is a Roselia. It's just named the same thing. So this is Yukako Yamagishi. It is called Love Deluxe. Is his name Speedo King? Speedo King. That's what his tie says. No, the... It says Speedo King. <laughs> uh, I don't like that his stand is like unwinding itself. You'll look on the right picture. Is that a foot? Yeah. What? Are you saying he transforms into feet? <laughs> is that what it's like? His stand, every single layer is a foot. I don't and like it that. transforms into a person. Okay, so his stand's name is Fruit by the Foot. <laughs> <laughs> foot by the Foot. And his name is Speedo King. <laughs> <laughs> Speedo King's Fruit by the Foot. <laughs> oh, God, I don't like that together. Okay, so this is Yuya Fungami. Yuya! And his stand is Highway Star. His tie is dick shaped. The feet chase you. Like, disembodied feet chase you at 60 kilometers per hour exactly. That one person who can, like, turn into a plane or whatever has a plane stand. Planes go, like, 400 miles an hour, so they can beat those feet. Yeah, but it's... <laughs> <laughs> Everybody mean to beat your like feet. <laughs> I didn't mean to say like that. This is Bastard Man. Yeah, apparently. He has lock powers, I guess. Uh, that's where he puts all his cigarettes. It's it's like a lunchbox. That's it. Yeah, it's just like a little a little pop box. His, his pop stand open. power is he has a lunchbox. <laughs> this is stinky bastard man. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Lock and key. Uh, so his name is Tamami Kobayashi. I thought you were gonna say his name is Tomato. 
and he's a filthy piece of shit. And then uh, after he's defeated, he becomes protagonist. Okay. DIU is like the Steven Universe of of JoJo. Like almost all the antagonists become allies. At, at near MLP the end. is the same way. That's basically the, the entire plot of season nine of MLP. Mm-hmm. His stand is called the Lock. Well, the one on the I gotta left, be more careful. The one on the left looks like Edna Mode. <laughs> <laughs> He's pointy. Many buckles. This guy is definitely the incel. He's the one who's like, oh, don't, don't those women, <laughs> those women. We live in a society. <laughs> <laughs> those women gamers live rise in a up. Society stand is the Woodman. <laughs> Toshikazu Hazamada. I don't know how you're expecting me to guess all these names when I'm. Never that's why. That's guess why them. I always get upset when people are like, "Oh, they didn't even try." It's like, what are we supposed to guess? It could be literally anything. And I, I don't really know a whole lot about Japanese names. <laughs> his name is. Spaghetti Te- Pizza. His name is Takeshi Midoriya. <laughs> and his stand is called Surface. Soft. This is a pure man. Yeah, he looks so soft. I love him. I want to give him a big hug. Mm. I want him to meet Sanji. They would be good buds. I really can't tell what that's supposed to be. It looks like tomatoes that are also caramel apples that are also like cucumbers that are also Or a screwdriver. Eggplants. His name. I'm just going to give him something simple. Mr. Cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> is uh, Tonio Trussardi. Okay. So uh, or like a... or Tonio Trendy, I think. Tonio Trendy in the in the anime. And did you name the stand? I don't think you have. I have not. His I just stand... noticed the little gloves. <laughs> they have little punchy gloves. His stand is many vegetables. <laughs> this is Pearl Jam, like the band. I... Pearl yeah, Jam. no, I'm, I I know Pearl Jam. I just, uh, why would then... his stand be called Pearl Jam? It... Or Pole Jam in the anime, pole jam. <laughs> <laughs> which is also the name of the strip club in Morio. No, maybe it's called Pearl Jam because I jam. Now I'm um, just lost it on an air guitar <laughs> for like two, like less than a second. But it was like an intense second. <laughs> Tony There's Trusardi. not fan art of them together and there needs to be. I... You can do that. You're good at stuff. <laughs> uh... <laughs> that was the gayest shit. I don't. Well, I was going to say uh... something. <laughs> I was going to say something and then mid-sentence I forgot what I was going to say. Yeah, you're lost. Her, You're lost in the in the cryptid titties. Her, yeah, her stand is just bones and titties. <laughs> bones and titties. Bone, bones. <laughs> Does Araki just have a thing against wearing one belt? I, I don't know. I think it's like, that's what he thinks fashion is. She looks like a character who's like very full of herself. What would a character that looked like this do for a living? She looks like a dancer. No, she's a manager at um, a TJ Maxx down the street. <laughs> this is Karen. <laughs> She is the manager now. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you should name her Elizabeth. That, the comments sure want you to. I'm looking into the camera right now. You can't tell. Linda. Linda. This is Linda McMahon. No, it's Linda McWoman. <laughs> her stand's name is Basketball Titties. <laughs> so this is Aya Suji. Okay. Uh, she is a beautician. Her stand's name is Cinderella. Is she a good guy or a bad guy? Uh, I can't really tell. The, like I said, part four is mostly like either bad or misunderstood people becoming allies. Okay. Except for Kira. Is this an, an, an invisible baby? Is that the hangover baby on the right? <laughs> yeah! This is the like the ghost of a miscarriage or something. Christ. <laughs> Like in the middle one, it's visible, but not the eye sockets. Oh, that, the that's because they put makeup on her. I. Mm, I don't like this baby. Is that the whole gimmick? Is this, is it an so invisible baby? Is that your final answer? Yeah. Its whole gimmick is that it's an invisible baby. You are correct. <laughs> In the English translation, the stand name is Invisible Baby. It's Ghost Rider, but as baby. <laughs> but yeah, there's a funky baby. Uh, their stand is called Aktung Baby. This looks like um, John, but uh, like American instead of French. He's got three belts! <laughs> His, he has no stomach, it's just a portal to the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? You reach under a shirt, you just feel water, and it just keeps going, and you're like, what? <laughs> That's his stand ability. Yeah, his, he, he has a portal to the Bahamas. He has to keep his jacket closed at all times because if he opens it, then the ocean just spills out and he melts. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted a stand so bad that he went insane. 
And so he took all the little green t- army men toys around his house. And he convinced himself that they were his stand. <laughs> Meanwhile, his real stand is the ocean <laughs> inside of him. <laughs> I like that. That's a good idea. Like, he has an actual stand, but he hasn't realized it yet. He thinks it's normal. But he wants a stand so bad because he can see other people's. He doesn't realize that's a stand exclusive thing. That so he so he makes his own stand out of toys. Yeah. And he has like two remote control helicopters <laughs> flying around him. No! Ocean Man! <laughs> Make <his> music reference! <laughs> like, the joke aside, what what's his stand called? He has named each individual one because he doesn't know how stands Alright, go through them. Andy, Andy. Bartholomew, <laughs> Candace, <laughs> uh, Tyrannosaurus, and, uh, Butchie. <laughs> So what you're saying is this man is a man child. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he's, he doesn't, he's an immature He doesn't bitch. know that stands have really cool names, and especially with ones with multiple, that they all have one name. <laughs> and so he was like, these are all individually named. <laughs> all right. Uh, this is Keicho Nijimura. This is Okiyasu's older brother. Ah. Which is why he has three belts. Uh, his stand is the army men behind him. Mm-hmm. He, uh, they're called Bad Company, <laughs> which is why Bad Co. is written on his collar. Ah. Or Worse Company in English. <laughs> Wait, so and then he, he is, died. Is he, yeah, is he the dead brother? Yes. Okay. That, um, look at his fucking stand. <laughs> it has a dick. Yeah, at first I noticed the beak and I was like, hey, a weird bird stand. Oh, there's a dick. <laughs> it's because he's happy to see you. He feels like he came out of an NSP music video. Dinny blow shot. <laughs> that's not his name. Uh, that's not his name. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Cut the bit. In what world is blow a, a synonym for sex? Well, what other words would you use? Intercourse. <laughs> Daniel intercourse explosion. <laughs> that sounds like, like Aaron's important voice. <laughs> 80s hair. And his stand is bird dick. Bird dick. Um, this is Akira Otoishi. His stand is red hot chili pepper. <clears throat> All right. All right, you know I'm a villain fucker, so I still like him. Um, yeah, his stand also has some nice DSLs. He doesn't even have eyebrows. He only has the brow ridge. <laughs> His stand is like the size of a toddler. That's weird. His name is Uncomfortable Dad. Sure hope not. Because he looks like someone's dad and he makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> what's his stand and what's it do? His stand is... I can see everything. That's going to be a lot of editing. <laughs> well, you don't have to edit the text like that. You just got to... <laughs> <laughs> Power is that it can see. <laughs> That's kinda, it. Kind of sucks. <laughs> so this is Angelo Katagiri, or just Angelo, and his stand is called Aqua Necklace. That's kind of a cool name. And it, it has the ability to take the form of water and... Uh, he can enter Ocean Man's stomach! <laughs> <laughs> is this uh, a boy? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna call him it's... Bug Boy. <laughs> <laughs> He's being birthed from the cabbage. Rock? Because he looks like a rock. He looks like... Like, evil hood Kogichi. I thought you said Kogichi. Kogichi. Evil hood Kuchi. <laughs> no, that's his name now. Okay. <laughs> evil hood Kuchi. Uh, so this is Ken Oyanagi. Just Ken. Ken. Uh, and his stand is called Boy 2 Man. Or in English, just Boy's Man Man. <laughs> <laughs> Which sounds like a YTP. Boy's, Boy's Man Man. man. <laughs> it's on your hand. This is Bug Boy. Bug boy! <laughs> I think that is vegetal. What? <laughs> he likes to live on the edge by just swinging on electric towers. Uh, that is where he lives. He lives in an electric tower. Yeah, that's why there's plants. He's he's totally self-sufficient. And he grows his plants with his piss. You have to he recycles. Me, but you have to use your pee. <laughs> and just let him die? <laughs> <laughs> His name is Chemotherapy. <laughs> oh, God. I just hang my balls. Those are his prosthetic balls. After you had to have him removed. Prosthetic ball. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you just, say? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 okay, so uh, believe it or not, this, uh, this tower is his stand. Okay. The whole thing. Okay. <laughs> 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 I'm still laughing at prosthetic balls. <laughs> oh 
Oh my god, my face hurt. Because <laughs> it sounded like 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 an announcer announcing the name of a race horse. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up on the number six, <laughs> prosthetic balls. <laughs> this Stan's name is useless piece of shit. I, there are so many videos that agree with you. <laughs> like, uh, like I think this has been used in so many like worst stands in JoJo lists. <laughs> so this is Toyohiro Kanadaichi. Okay. Uh, I he, we don't know his real name because that's not his real name. That's his oh. alias, and his stand is called Superfly. Well, his stand is not super fly, it's super <laughs> shitty. Old man. In the top left, he looks like Count Olaf. He's Jim Carrey now. Oh, is that, is that like a photo that he's trapped in? Exactly. Okay. He's actually using that uh, for transportation. He has it tied around the neck of a bird. Oh. He's using the bird as, trans as transportation. Well, he's only going to be able to use that for like two years. <laughs> yeah, two years. <laughs> oh, poor him. You only what, need what to kill people What about the rest of his years. life? I... Well, I, I'm sorry to put, put to say this, but he's dead. <laughs> oh. He is a ghost. Well, his name is Mr. String Man. Bring me a string. That's his bum, full bum, name. Bum. And the bums. Yes. And his stand is, I am the string. Bum, 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 bum. And it says that whenever it comes out. Um, basically, this guy is Yoshihiro Kira. Oh, it's Kira's dad. This is Kira's dead dad. Uh, his stand is called Adam Hart Father. They have a healthy family dynamic, but their healthy family dynamic also involves killing people, so... <laughs> as long as Kira has a good relationship with his father, because not everyone gets that chance. I don't know what this person's gender is, but I like them. Their stand is like a Alolan stone tree. It looks like his hands have spoons on them. They do. Oh, so it's like a like a hypnotism kind of a thing, is it? Because I think spoons are like... It's definitely something like that. Or the theme. So the stand, like, hypnotizes you, and then they can make you do whatever they want. Stan's name, I'm going to go with peanut butter and jelly. Because I just, it just, it's got it's that, nothing to do with hypnotism. It's got that kind of color scheme. Uh, 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 their name, you know, because their I named their stand peanut butter and jelly, his name is Mr. Celio Sandwich. <laughs> What? <laughs> What'd you say? His name's Mr. Steelio Sandwich. Oh, I thought you said Mr. Celo Sandwich. <laughs> uh, so this is Teranosuke Miyamoto, uh, and uh, his stand's name is Enigma. Or, his mind or, uh, is an enigma. <laughs> or Mysterioso in English. So that's what? technically the stand user. You can guess his name if you want. Why does he change color? Jojo, remember. Color is fluid. Um, like you, his baby. His stand user is Happy Boy, because he looks happy. Look at his hair. Yeah, it'd be that way. <laughs> the, the man's name is Masazo, or Masazo Kinoto, but like he's not important in the slightest. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> the stand is what we're looking at. The stand uh, is very bad for the user. How does a stand survive after the person dies? It, it's specifically this stand and how it works. I don't like their like sticky frog fingers. Oh. Isn't Sticky Fingers the name of a stand? Yeah, it's the name of, of Ray Romano's stand. You know, uh, like a minute or two ago, I was trying to think of the word for inconsistency. Like, that's what I was going to name it, was inconsistency, because of the colors. No. And that the first word that came to mind was incontinency. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and that's what I'm naming it. No. His name is incontinency. <laughs> Alright, no more money for me, I see. So this is Cheap Trick. It, this uh, is the peanut butter to the other stand jelly. <laughs> Well, it's too late. You named it incontinency. No, I, I it lat latches onto its user's back and annoys them until it until they reveal their back to somebody. And then if somebody else sees their back, it just, like, rips off your back and then jumps to the other person. So the stand has no use whatsoever. And that's a, that's that image in the bottom right is him going to hell. <laughs> like, literally. Well, He's going straight to hell. <laughs> he looks like Thanos in that picture. <laughs> rat last, boy! Last, last one. It's rat. It's rat. a rat. Rat boy. Who can forget our dear rat boy? <laughs> uh, so yeah, this was uh, Zach's favorite episode. His stand's got you know, big gremlin energy. He's gremlin. He's gremlin. Is this kind of like the turtle situation where it has like some sort of use? Um, this, this stand is made specifically for the rat, not anyone else. It's made for it to survive. 
time to stand for the rat. <laughs> makes all of the rules. This is the the rat is rat size, by the way, not giant size. It doesn't make any rules. <laughs> I guess I assumed it was rat size. The stand kisses it gently on the forehead every morning. Says, "I love you. Have a good day." This is a wild rat, not a not like a house rat. Yeah, well, wild rats deserve love too. <laughs> no, I'm naming him Dear Rat Boy. <laughs> Who could forget him? He has like like the the perfect swirl for his tail. Yeah. Like, you know the. He's the void rat. <laughs> and his stand is Mr. Chomps. The uh, stand opens up, and like a little cannon comes out of it. <laughs> the rat with a cannon. Nice. So this the the rat's name is uh, they named him Bug Eaten because one of his ears is all eaten up. Ah. And you're not going to believe this, but the, the stand is called Rat. <laughs> That's so stupid. And it's named after the band Rat, but it, it's, it's, I, I find it funny. The Rat Rat. <laughs> I find it funny that they didn't name the Rat Rat, and they named the stand Rat instead. <laughs> so what did you learn about part four? Um, nothing about JoJo has changed. <laughs> you, you, you're saying it's just as strange as when we did part five? Yeah. Is part series? seven the horse one? Yeah, nice. it's the race one. That makes it sound really bad. <laughs> we'll see you next time. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and thank you so, so much for your patience. This video took a lot of dedication and work, and I'm so happy how it turned out. I'd also quickly like to thank Hunt Dude, our first top tier Patreon supporter. Make sure you hit the like button if you liked it, subscribe for more, and ring the bell to stay caught up with notifications. Leave a comment to what your favorite guess was, and what JoJo part you'd like to see next. I'm Emmy Splanobi, and good night, Moriocho.